Hello everyone, how are you doing? I'm setting up uh, a reference image and uh, I guess I should also add yeah, let me paste this yeah, if you want to check out the reference image um, uh, yeah, creating this post I'll be adding Reference, reference image okay reference image is there and uh, the project files and everything i think i'll be posting them there okay let's jump in and uh, again today we're going to be making this hope you guys are doing let me make sure that my audio is good okay seems good jump into blender and let me just drag this in how are you guys doing uh, before we get started let me just do a quick reminder yeah, if you are if you are in the market for trees and uh, maybe trying to make a forest uh, try out alpha trees because it's an um, it's an amazing add-on uh, that uh, don't re doesn't really take up a lot of CPU uh, usage uh, because it uses alpha images or alpha textures to populate your trees and you can see you can make some large forests without incurring a lot of computation costs i uh, can try it out i'll be leaving a link in the description you can also just read it out you can see it's just a 2d plane with a texture and uh, when you get it uh, because uh, using my affiliate link which is in the description uh, i get a commission which keeps the internet alive my internet pays for my internet and stuff and also human generator are uh, also an amazing add-on for customizing, uh, creating custom uh, humans for your scenes, especially if you're doing concept art, this is an amazing add-on because it comes with uh, endless variations of characters. Um, you can give them hair, uh, outfit, different outfits and uh, different with our post library. Okay, links, all links are in the description, right? Let's get into today's piece, creating this. And uh, I guess we can just jump right in. We're going to be using Eevee for this. Uh, let me turn on ambient occlusion and uh, bloom screen space reflections okay let's let's start by blocking out this hello harubi how are you how are you doing i want to start by blocking this out this a bluish the wall a bluish tint uh, the camera full pass out shortcuts okay let me grab an area light beneath Misha hi how are you doing by the way I am a student from India I can't afford these add-ons so if you know some f good free pocket friendly vegetation add-ons uh, then do suggest some uh yeah I, I think okay so i have a, another post on uh, blender everything uh, my website that basically compares the different let me see where is this where is this if you go to blendereverything.com, I have a post. Uh, let me see where is that. This here. Uh, it compares the different add-ons, vegetation add-ons. And uh, maybe you can look through that and see if any of those works for you in your budget. Okay. And just paste the link. I don't know why my internet is a bit slow, but uh, that's uh, the link there. Hey, Burning Trap. Hello, good sir. I'm going to try this later and see how it turns out. Nice, 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 nice. Good to, good to know. Okay, let's do... Yeah, I want... I want to start by blocking... things. Uh, 50. Okay, let's create this building. 
I guess start with a cube. Uh, nah. So around here, we don't. Re we're just using this as reference. Are uh, we not going to go for the exact look? Let's add a loop here. Okay. That's going to be our door. I think I can grab this wall. I don't know, should I, should I, should I, should I? And just separate this origin to center. Add a few subdivisions. No, let me X. No, insert. Apply scale. And yeah, something like that. So this is going to be our window frame, and I think it protrudes out a tiny bit. Let me bring my amateur occlusion up. And the factor up as well. Hmm. What's going on here? Why do I have too many points? What? Okay. Gonna push that in. I'm creating this window here. And uh, just trying different ways to have it detailed. Okay, then can grab. I think I can create another. I want a slider here, a sliding window. And that. Uh, so I think it has this need to this needs two rail systems. So let me see. Yeah. Like that. So one one of these windows would slide. Uh let me origin to geometry. Also need to give this, fill this in. And call this anime shop. Huh, earthquake. Uh, let me add a light in here. Uh, 
give it contact shadows 50 And we have our dough, uh, this thing here, just going to grab this edge. Um, extrude and ins uh, let me apply the scale origin to geometry, insert, push this up. I think this has to be flat on the wall. Now let's create some these bulbs here. Just going to use. I mean, let, let me try something different. Let me try these shades smooth to smooth. Uh, let me use 45 okay so these are going to be the lights that we see hanging hey bro wanna say i love your work uh, thank you design thank you thank you thank you uh, what do you design, by the way? Mission. Ten. Let me also add a light in there. Now this shouldn't cast any shadows. point light give it a nice but uh, I want it to have a fall off I manage I'm a manager of a design team so it's my work email oh yeah a design at my oh I see I see I see nice nice like, uh, oh, Steve, what do you, what do you design at uh, at your job? Always interested in now uh, the kind of work my audience does a bit. Okay. Hey, Kapil, how are you? It's been a while, man. How are you? Good old friend. How have you been? So what I want to do is instance this on this line here. So I'm just going to parent this to this control P object and then use uh, this. How is that instancing on vertices? I think I have too many vertices. Now let me see where is this line origin should be there okay you see what we are having um, yeah we have too much too many lines too many verses so let me just um, mainly brand branding our websites now getting into video as well nice 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 and uh, yeah, learning 3Ds uh, would be an, uh, an amazing skill to add into that if you're going to do a video as well. Okay, I want these lights to be separated. Actually, I can just delete some of these. Okay. 
kind of proportional editing because I want this to seem like a hanging wires I use this yeah like that and now I can use the array modifier to make that. Can I even make it longer? Okay. Uh, it's been too long. I'm good, bro. How are you? I'm great. I'm great, man. I'm great. You still jogging? Oh, you gave up on that. I just started 3D and stuff, but not yet able to make any anime. Seems like you, uh, um, it's intimidating. Yeah, you, you can try simple scenes. You don't really have to start with bigger scenes. Just start simple. Uh, that's what I would recommend. Let me first switch off this inside light. Okay, and uh, this, <clears throat> let's get some text, subscribe, let's write subscribe in uh in japanese i think i have a japanese font let me first get give this an emission shader okay let me just leave it in a readable format and one thing when you are working with emission shaders in Eevee, they don't really produce light, so you need to help them out a bit. So you have to add point lights around them and uh, give them the same, same color. So I can duplicate this. Now maybe just give this word, yeah, something like that. So, okay, let's work on the material for this. <clears throat> just made my first realistic environment. Does that in Unreal Engine a few days ago? Nice. Uh, can can we see that? Maybe you can post that in the Discord, so I can look at that. Still jogging, but uh, being lazy lately. Ah. Well, me, not really. I have, I have, I don't jog, but uh, good for you, man, if you are still doing that. Okay, let's, I want to make this uh, look anime, like, and uh, give it uh, an edge. So I'm going to create two materials. I'll call this uh, edge. And uh, give this, um, what should I give it? Oh. I want this to have an, uh, a dark edge around it, uh, like uh, tone shading. So what I'm going to do is give this a uh, solidify modifier. Let me first make sure that my normals are recalculated. And uh, on the normals, you want to flip. Let me do this in edit mode and see, make sure that everything, okay, yeah. Uh, you need to add a solidify modifier, then change this to flipped. And uh, let me, Come back here, go back to the edge material. This can be an emission, emission shader. Emission shader. And I'm going to give it a darker color like this. And I give that to the material. And you can already see we have an edge. I can make that edge a bit 
Let's see, am I doing this correctly? Oh yeah, you need to turn back face, back face curling. Go to the modifier, shrink the edge. Now, you, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's there. I, I guess I can show this to you on a Suzanne head. Now if link materials and also link modifiers. You can see uh, the edge I'm talking about there. Yeah, just gives us a nice tone shader. And if you want, then we can uh, also create, convert this into shader, convert this to, to a tune shader to convert shader to shader to RGB. And uh, we can use a car ramp. We can also use constant, add a few nodes. So let's say, depending on the material you're trying to create, maybe, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, maybe let's try a um, metal surface. Just give this different shades. And we have a tune shader. Okay, use shader to RGB. Yeah, uh, I was searching for that. But uh, hey, Lumify, interesting. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't know why Nightbot removed that, but uh, let me see if I can bring that back. Oh, you used. Yeah, when you use a lot of emojis, uh, Nightbot does that, remove that. I want to start uh, with a small corner library and maybe make small props to begin with and would that be a good idea yeah yeah start some, with something small but i love bloom in ev i wish cycles had it i think when they release the uh, uh viewport compositing then it will be possible to do uh, to do that to add bloom using cycles uh i tried to import japanese font in blender but it turned into English do you know why I'm getting this problem uh, that could be uh, the issue could be with the font itself so let me let me see if I I think I already have some Japanese fonts let me see uh, let's go to fonts my fonts my fonts I do have some fonts I go to the fonts I think I have Uh, there is a Japanese looking font, which is still in English, but uh, non-Japanese. So maybe, uh, let, let me see. Can I find Japanese fonts? Because I, I, I know Blender handles it no prob with, no, with no issues. Let me try... Uh, I guess we can go with this. Front page. Can go with this. Uh, okay, where is the download link? Let me see where is it. Okay, saving that in my downloads. So you just find it, I guess. Huh. 
Were you having this issue? Because it downloaded it, but uh, let me see. Let me go to 100 fonts. Nightbot trying to scruff with me. Yeah, it can be quite aggressive sometimes. Uh, let me see. Japanese. Hmm. Japanese looking font. Hey man, just type this subscribe word in Japanese and paste it. Yeah, I'm trying to first get uh, the right font like this. Yeah, I think this could work. Oh, actually this. Hello, I have been quiet, but uh, the shader caught my attention. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I didn't know you could do that with modifiers. I thought it should be shaders. No, uh, the modifier helps create the edge, uh, the thickness of the edge. Someone figure it, figured it out. I don't even remember who did that. Who was the first to figure it out? So I have some really smart people in the community. So. I would never have, I would have never gotten it myself. Where did I download this? Oh, downloaded already. called jcons so hopefully if i go to this fonts 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 search for j okay this is an issue i, don't, I can't find the font Let me just have it on the desktop. Because I remember I've used this before. I've used a font like this before in Blender and it worked just fine. So I'm not sure why it is failing right now. So let me just... Oh. Just drag this here in the downloads. Ah, oh, it's there. It's, yeah, it's, it works. It's, it works very fine. So let's do subs. Uh, I don't know. Coffee. Let's do C O F F E E. Okay, let's speed up this because I think uh, I've been a bit. Uh, I'm not sure why they why they have this text under it. I think they want they would want you to have uh, the paid version, but uh, that's why they add that text. But I'm just going to remove that. Just I've converted this into. A mesh. Okay. Give it. Give this the same material. 
maybe give it a bluish color. Okay, uh, I tried that method, uh, DM designs, but I need bloom on a specific object, not at the whole scene. Oh. My teams, yeah, I think uh, if you want bloom in cycles, you you might want to just wait. In the viewport directly, you might want to wait for uh, the release, the new release. Oh, I was trying to make this. This is supposed to be a glass, so I'm going to use translucent, uh, no, transparency, and uh, a diffuse, a diffuse. And uh, alpha blend, no shadows. My team suck. You can simply make a single render for each thing. That would be time consuming. Is this video or a still? Uh, is adding bloom in Photoshop an option? Yeah. If it's a still image, then you can try doing it in post production. How do you do single renders? I want to know, is it hiding each? I think you would uh, have objects in layers and uh, or use, how is it called? Masking. Okay, let's continue with this. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yes, have another building. Here. I want to make the lighting interesting. So I want to add some extra details. Let me get some trees. use this okay trees can be heavy for since so, so we can add them a bit later okay let's move on quickly uh, to the door actually maybe let's make a material for this i'm going to go to my texture folders add-on uh search for a concrete material concrete like uh let's try this we don't need all of these I don't even need this. Can just do a cube projection. Uh, make this. Okay. Are uh, we getting some nice detail? Uh, but uh, I think I need to scale it on the X a bit. Okay, so something like that. Maybe even scale it further like that again we're going to use the same technique so i'm going to draw convert this to i don't know if it's okay like this let's see i think i'm okay with this i'm just going to add a mix rgb here And uh, 
then create a gradient, a texture gradient. And let's switch this to UV editor. So this gradient goes from left to right. So I'm going to create another UV set. UV set here. And uh, use that in as, I guess I can just rename this to gradient, gradient like that, gradient. Uh, because I want to have some gradients on this. I'm going to select uh, all these forward facing faces. And uh, so this, I mean, you can see how the gradient looks. I want, yeah, I want it to be top down. Like that, it gives us a nice gradient for the anime. And I am also going to grab this. Should it be top? I think that's. Uh, that's okay. Uh, this face here. Yeah, that's one thing I really notice about animes. Uh, they have a lot of gradients. I think we can also do the same for this. Hey, long time no see. Yeah, it's been a while. How are you? How are you, Okon? It's been a while. What have you been up to? did take a break. Okay, let me grab this face. Just want this face. Give it. A nice gradient as well. Hey, night, burning bright. What's up? How are you? How are you? How are you? Why is everyone uh, saying long time no see? Yeah, it's been a while since I, I used to stream like uh, on a daily basis. So nowadays I stream rarely. So that's why you see people, some people are saying long time no see because, uh, yeah. And I, I think my last stream was, I don't know, was it three days ago? But I used to, and uh, then the last stream before that was weeks. You're fine? Good, good, good to know, man. Good to know. I improved my Brenda skill very well, non-stop learning. Nice. Is in the realistic tree in an anime scene, how do you make those fit, bro? Uh, the realistic tree doesn't fit well, and uh, tr anime trees are hard to make. But I think I have a few that I made uh, that I will use instead. So we have our gradient and we are going to mix it over this. And uh, I think for the wall, we don't really need the conversion. So you can see the gradient really helps a lot. And I can even add some color to this. Yes make the walls a bit warm and uh, we also still need the line so I'm going to grab the edge material we had add it there and uh, a solidify modifier like before uh, we need the normals to be flipped and uh, the material to be material too and that gives us an edge like that you can we can make the edge thicker but we want it to be slightly thin, like that. Hey, right, the gamer. How are you? How are you? Welcome back as well. Uh, we are coming back to routine work. Uh, 
if you're asking whether I'll be streaming on a daily basis like before, uh, no, I, uh, I'm changing my schedule again. Uh, this time around, I'll be streaming, I think, twice a week so that I have time for to do other stuff that I need to do. Now maybe we can all, after that week, we can all come up with something that we did in the weekend and uh, yeah, I don't know. Just copy these link materials. Okay, this can just be control link object data. Okay, uh, we need some interior lights. Let me first get rid of this. I need a light in here. Hey Steve, how are you? Looking cool. Thank you, thank you. Can you give? Can you give? Tell me how to create a handheld camera in Blender. Couldn't find tutorials. I have a few tutorials, but uh, let me give you a quick one. You just add uh, the camera and on the sound uh, camera. Let me look through that. Let's say this is your camera, you just give it a keyframe, a few keyframes, let's say moving forward like that, tab in, control tab to go to curve editor, uh, look for the direction you want to add, uh, especially the Z axis, so the Z location, shift H to isolate that, and uh, hit N, N to bring up the curve modifiers, and uh, other modifiers you just add a noise, and I uh, just play with the scale. You can see already see that handheld. Then you copy the modifier. You can paste that on the maybe the Y rotation. So this is the Y rotation. You can paste that there. And you can already see just in a few steps you have something. You can also paste that on the X rotation. And uh, just trick the state things a bit. Uh, to get what you want yeah that's how i would uh, approach that oh he meant a camera with no ibs handheld camera in blender i couldn't find ibs wh what do you mean ibs i'm not sure if i understand i'm creating a personal project uh dancing on the moon should uh, should i make handheld or should i use default that depends on the direction you want to go with, I think. I have a great idea. Can you tell me exactly what your next stream will be? I will try to follow along and see what the results I can come up with. Well, I, I never really know what, what, uh, t what I'm going to be making in next stream. So yeah, I don't really prepare that much. Let me create these lights here. I'm just going to use uh, an icosphere, scale down on the X and uh, give it and shade smalls and uh, give it an emission. Yeah. So we have two. Let me also give this something like that. I think the, the interior looks a bit plain. Let's get some uh, restaurant. Res it's a hard word to spell. Restaurant. Uh, restaurant. Uh, what, 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 what? Menu. Okay. 
Make this like that. Okay. And uh, what we can do with these is just create. Let's start with this board here. I guess I can grab a concrete material. Actually, um, concrete material, concrete material. Let me. Can I just use this material for the concrete? Yeah, I think. Okay, let's create this board here. Should be very simple. Mm. I think we can just insert this, get rid of this bottom piece. Grab this edge, extrude down. I think uh, the legs might need to be a bit wider. Wider, wider, wider. Okay. And, um, do, 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 do I extrude like this or do I extrude this first? Yeah. Yeah, I think then I can just duplicate this mirror on the Y then control a huh. yes use a mirror object mirror modifier mirror modifier on the on the apply rotation yeah Clipping, uh, remove clipping, so we don't have any intersecting, and we have we have that. I think I need to extrude. Can turn back clipping, extrude this, and have this connected. Okay, we have our menu, menu board. We can also give it the edge material. Let me first create the board material. Board. <clears throat> how many softwares do you know? Do I even know how many softwares do I use? Let me Okay, so I, I know how to use After Effects, Blender, Photoshop, a bit of Cinema 4D, uh, but I haven't really tried it in a while, so I don't know how many changes uh, they have made there. Quite a few, I think. Hello, Alexandra Dubak. I guess you have this question many times, but how do you do the different colors for your meshes? That's so helpful. Oh, so that's easy. So the default setting is usually a uh, single like this, which is it's hard to, to tell the different objects. So you just go to the overlay of uh, viewport shadings here and turn on random. Easy. And if you even want to see more differences, you can turn on cavity to see the edges like that. Uh, do you think Unreal is going to be most used in the future? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I definitely. Uh, for, if you mean mo use mostly for uh, real-time production. But uh, Blender is going to be, a, if, if like, what do you mean use mostly in, uh, as, an, as a game engine, as, as a what? Okay, I need to apply the mirror and rotate this and uh, bring back the mirror on the X. 
scale this down. I think my legs are a bit short. Hmm. Let me use no more. Okay. Still looks too too big, but I think yeah. Let's give this a solid five modifier like we did before. Uh, create a new the board menu and then add the edge material in the modifiers. We need to flip normals and uh, use the and we have uh, the edge detail. So for the board material, let me see. Do I have a board? I yes. Create a dark material like that, and uh, then the menu we can have and just copy this, save image, call this menu, menu, just drag uh, the image for virtual pr production. Yeah, yeah. If, if, um, for virtual production, well, I guess there it might depend because uh, Unreal is uh, is kind of being pushed towards high fidelity, uh, high detailed looking renders or productions, and uh, virtual production doesn't really fit well there. Uh, because you have to do a lot of optimization if you're doing. Oh, virtual product. Sorry, I thought you was you were talking about uh, VR. But uh, if you're saying virtual production, yeah, yeah, Unreal definitely because it's really focused mostly on uh, uh, they're they're really pushing it towards production so I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes uh, the top and right now it's actually the top I think and uh, they have the money to to help as well so yeah hey okay. grab this concrete Concrete base. Just Just going to grab these edges. Well, I saw a post on uh, Twitter where someone used Mid Journey to win an art contest. Kind of sucks, man, for the other competitors, especially if he pretended uh, that uh, it was his own art work. But I'm not sure if he did. Uh, still sucks. Okay, let me add back solidify modifier um, material one flip normals. Do a Q projection on this. Okay, let's uh, 
Hello Abdul Abdullah Ziz how are you doing Okay let's manage this lighting a bit uh, shift G type cuz uh, I'm not sure I like the lighting we have right now So let's correct it Okay so this is what we have currently let me bring this down ah great thing is we can see the edges guess I need to make that our edge really stand out let's try two hello I there I love your channel so much uh, thank you Windows 7 thank you thank you how are the updates? When are you updating? Uh, I have uploaded my work on the, on your discourse. Please check. Oh, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I meant when will your next stream be? So I will join in and oh, it will be on. Uh, it should be on Saturday. Saturday. look at some of this amazing amazing wolf amazing piece especially this I really like this one here so what what names did you send it under Raj recently posted today in what uh, chat cause oh it's Raj I'm not I don't think I'm seeing because uh, you can see what I'm seeing here I'm seeing wolf what a pop toffee um, yeah which which uh, art critic Oh, nice, 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 nice. Nice. Oh, you rigged that? Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, uh, so let's uh, correct our lighting. Oh, that you... It's even better with cavity. Yeah, it's, it's really... It makes everything look more clear, especially when you work when you have a little models. Okay. Okay, I like uh, that blue light, so I'll keep that under uh, that uh, purple. I don't see what this light is adding, so I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, is this here? So. I think we need to reduce the intensity of that to something like now maybe maybe down see this is how I like to do my lighting you just go one light by one light at a time and see what it's really doing. I think instead of using multiple area lights here, point lights, I'm just going to use one area light. Just make it like, like so. And uh, this text should also be red. Let's try PPT like that. Okay. 
Okay, now we can work on the interior. Oh, I like this coffee mug. So let's do that. Just going to use circle curve. Uh, let me change this to aligned. Let me see. Do I even need to do that? Just bring this closer. Grab this. Duplicate this. Uh, change this to. Uh, is it right click? Uh, spline type? No. A handle type to automatic. Aligned. Yeah. Scale this like that. Bring this. Give this a thickness. Okay, let me just have this at the side here. Give it uh, some thickness and uh, new material. Emissive. Let me just flat out use the same. Okay, now let's design the mag. Okay, so everything should be aligned uh, I need more segments okay can get rid of these vertices okay then this is something like that i think i need more segments there bring this in uh this can be uh, a free free point so we have and this should also be a free point i'm pressing v by the way i think you can see the shortcuts i'm using here Okay, uh, we can also break this apart. Like neon lights do break up. I'm just going to break that segment there. Okay, like they did. I'm just going to align. Uh, let's also add in just want only this point when I try to model things from Pinterest I can able to model but I can't I'm unable to achieve the that kind of texture yeah you you should you, you can try improving your lighting uh, because uh, the textures really come out better if you have good right lighting. Doesn't seem like you you have uh, l lights in your scene. Seems like uh, the your scene is a bit shadeless. Uh, can just call this top coffee just give it
Like you can see, though we added this, it doesn't really add any light to the scene. So I'm just going to add a point light there so that it makes it seem like uh, this actually gives off light. Yeah, just like that. Now the interior, I can actually just grab this menu, clear rotation, I remove uh, the mirror. Let's guy just reuse. Ah. Rotate this. Remove the legs. Now we should have a menu board we can reuse. I think for the glass, I'm going to use non-reflective glass, which I have in my asset library. Just do glass. Have this non-reflective glass. And, uh, right now, the, this glass doesn't really have anything to reflect, so I'm going to grab an area light. Just so we have something that these glasses could reflect. So I'm not sure why. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Now this doesn't even need. The edges can just simply have a different material. Metallic. See, can just have something like that. Just to have some light, and I'm going to duplicate this light. Have it as the interior light setup. Just want to get the right color. Turn on contact shadows so that we don't have that light bleeding there. Okay, and then my blender crashed. I haven't saved it yet. Ah, that's very unfortunate. Ah, thank you, thank you, Gabriel. Believe me, render is just a starting point of a masterpiece. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, Yeah, m most people think that uh, after you hit render, you are done. But uh, most artists will go into Photoshop and tweak their renders. So if you also want to achieve impressive renders as other artists, you might want to 
do some touches after you render Add some wireframes. Which website do you use to get backgrounds for videos? Background for, do you mean like uh, HDRI images? Grab these windows again. There is HDRI, uh, HDRI Heaven. Uh, there is uh, yeah, HDRI Heaven is enough for HDRIs if you want uh, HDRIs. I think it's starting to look anime. Which videos, which website do you use to get background for bit for, for videos? Uh, I rarely do videos, so yeah, I don't really do that. Use orthographics with a lens of, hmm. With a lens of, uh, Oh, you mean a scale of 100 millimeter? Because there are not there are no lenses in orthographic. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure about orthographic. It doesn't uh, really look as good. I think maybe you mean like uh, I should use. A, a larger focal length. Yeah, the issue is that then we have to add a lot of stuff. And then maybe let me offset my camera a bit. Uh, let me also use my asset library, get some shops to populate the area a bit. Might help. Uh, the scene out a bit. Actually, 
the top should just be the shop Awesome sun Saturday is weekend, so I should be able to join. Yeah, it will be on Saturday. Yeah. I have created that handheld movement, but how can I stop the motion after a moment? Ah, uh, you can after a moment. Where, where, how do you do that? I'm, I'm actually forgetting. Uh, I'll have to look back into that because I don't remember. Uh, let's make these tiles and there may be some details there just going to grab plane put it x i'm just going to brute force this with geometry instead of a texture just so we can capture uh, the shadows or oh, all oh, the pattern better with the lights. I mean, add a bevel, bevel to that, an array Wah. like that, and then another one in the Z or in the Y. Huh? And why? Like that. Does look like we have some sort of frame here. I'll just also give it the same material. Just add some detail here. Like that. Now the bevels of these are quite too small of the windows seem small. Make them thicker. Shouldn't be this dark though, so Get uh, seats, coffee shop seats, chair, maybe this. get some road marks hmm. 
Yes. Adding in some extra detail. Uh, this here should also get some extra detail, so shift, um, just duplicate this, just add few things, maybe wireframe, modifier, it looks cool so far, thank you Viseri, thank you, thank you. How are you? I think I've, I've seen you around. How, how have you been? It's been a while since... Give this a darker material. And maybe these lights should be bigger. And uh, more emissive. I suggest making a discord we can voice chat the lag on youtube is crazy um the lag on youtube is crazy well uh i don't know how that would work because i i, I don't think there is a there is any lag on youtube oh you mean uh the lag for for the chat Yeah, I don't see how that would work with a live stream. Uh, because then the video would not match uh, with the with the live stream with the audio. Okay, I want to add some extra detail to this. To this, let me add a loop there. chat lag yeah i can see what you mean but uh if i use discord while streaming uh it wouldn't really you can keep discord audio off of the youtube ah it's still uh, that would be too too many things to handle because uh I have like three monitors open right now. If I add another thing to, and each monitor has, has something that I'm, I'm looking at, I to make sure that things are running smoothly. So if I add one more extra thing that I think is just going to be too hard to, to keep up with. I'll change. Are you going to add the trees? Yes, I will be adding the trees. I'm just putting that off for the last part, as the last part, uh, because uh, trees are quite heavy. Let me just see if I can get away with this.
is the bottom image or the top image you refer the bottom image is the reference oh, we need a door I just use these this one here actually this should be enough this this door should be enough No suggestions about upcoming about coming up with uh, composition ideas you can suggest you can suggest I'm always open for suggestion read this the frame Pole. Let me get a pole. Somewhere here. Um, Blender is freezing. Oh, I think because it was compiling shaders. Image seems to have higher focal length, yours has more perspective. Well, we, we're not really trying to match the image one to one. Because we're, we're using it as inspiration. Wait, let me, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess it looks better with, uh, Yeah, with less perspective. Imagine once I, in a while, you get a question from a person in your headset. That would be a bit destructive. I may, I may end up not being able to do much. Because <laughs> uh, uh, the reason why I like uh, just to have simple chat like this is uh, even when I miss a question, I can always see it back. I can focus on working while you guys are asking questions and then I can just come back to the questions.
trying to look for a better composition. Better to have planes or solid geometry for lighting. Depends on what you are trying to light. Uh, planes don't really catch light very well, but uh, geometry can be too heavy, so it's uh, it's a balancing act. Let me just uh, move this into. Let me call this logo. Move it into a collection and just instance. Instance that here. How to code add-ons? Uh, I do have a, a tutorial series on that if you want on my Blender Everything website. You can go to Blender Everything. And uh, go to making add-ons. Like you can see I have a, t a few tutorial series there. It should take you, I I'll be adding more. So you go through one by one and uh, it takes you through the steps of making an add-on. Uh, it shows you the file structure, how to basically code your first add-on, how each code, each file looks like. And uh, by the end of at least those two, and I even give you the project files, the add-on template for each part you finish. Let me see, let me see what, let me show you. By this part two, you should be able to make an add-on that looks like this. And uh, basically, basically just, this is, uh, you have uh, uh, the side bar, this, something like this, that shows you the different buttons yeah, basically, if you want to learn how to make add-ons, uh, that's, uh, that, that's on the website. What are SPC specs? Hey, Julian, Thailand, Thailand. Guliam, sorry if I'm butchering your name, but uh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, you can use specs, exclamation marks, specs like that, and I will see my specs. think we need more menus so we need more stuff in the background I had a fridge I have a coca-cola fridge that's going to add it Yeah, 
We need screen space reflections, I think. How will you make the menu board bring a PNG on uh, plane? How will you make the menu board? Th yeah, that could work, but uh, I just use the same technique we use to create this, which is just uh, a texture applied directly onto the plane. Okay, we need a light inside here. And uh, in the background here, where we don't have too much detail, what we could do is add a volume object and just rotate it slightly like that. I think it's a great way to hide empty space. Just bring the volume down. Uh, just bring the emission up Give it a, a nice tint Poly count, uh, let me see overlays 36. So we have about 12 of uh, 120,000 uh, Triangles triangles, so our poly count is not really that bad it's, uh, it's not yet that bad. Yeah, just to hide. Uh, detail. Uh, the lack of detail in the background. I think I can add. Um, road road uh, details maybe like this road sign highway sign in the background so this cafe is uh, closer to a road Uh, what is it? Uh, what do you mean, the poor Mr. Fall? Why did you set up uh, the viewport that each new object? Uh, just, just simply going under the viewport shading and selecting this. Default is this. If you switch it to this, every object you add will have a random color. I think the top area was a bit too distracting, so let me change that to something simpler. Oh, let me have some house. Let me grab this house here. Put it in the background there. By the way, this house is available in the free uh, building pack that you can get on my website. Uh, Blender everything. Uh, where is that? Oh, this is what we're going to be making in the... Uh, it won't be a live stream, I think. It's uh, something I'm prepared to create. Let me see. It's... Uh, 
if you want this building it's available in the this building you can see it also has that anime shading look it's available in the free building parks uh, where is that free building parks yeah this here this post so you can see it there you should be able to get it but the top is not seen oh I yeah, mean the top in the coffee guess we can just scale it up then and uh, this this shop is also too much let me just I remove just remove the door oh still there yes yeah I think I, I, I like to, I would like to keep that the shop there so let me Are you going to upload the blend file? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll see. I'll see. Let me grab a car. Just put it. to give these these lights light Let's see, add this character here. This guy is too big. see do we have a vending machine
Let's add our signature, our card, signature card here. Yes. There. Okay, let's look at the lighting again. Shift G type move them move all the lights into the lights collection. Switch all of them off. So we can revisit our lighting. So that's our lighting without any lights. Okay, uh, this is without the volumetrics, all lights on, all lights off, yeah, I like the volumetrics, let's see what we can improve about this. What is causing this light? I'm seeing light and I'm not sure where it's coming from. Is it? Oh, because... Uh, no. Anyway. Oh, this shop, I think, has... A light. There's a lot of glow on the port. Ah, uh, which port? Which port? Ah, uh, you mean the logo? I don't know if I need this light here. This blue light could be positioned better. Yeah, I like the long shadows it's creating. Yeah, I like that shadow detail, so we, we're going to have to keep it. Let's see. This area light yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure put some lights inside the shop uh, there is darkness no I've just turned off all the lights so I'm just trying to revisit each light and see how much impact it has on the on the scene this light here I don't see why it's there okay this is the interior light maybe we can change uh, the color can also add more menus on this side okay like the glowy effect it adds let's see yeah okay that's okay uh, I'm not sure what this light uh, it's not necessary also remember the more lights you have this lower your scene is going to render, so I'm going to remove that. Uh, this light is going to add this there. Maybe. There. There may be another one. Mm. 
Nah, just one there, and there may be one there. Let's try. Mm, nah. How do you make life shoes lights and hard lights? Uh, so uh, let me show you. Let me show you quickly here. Let me see. Okay, let me grab a plane, isolate it. Okay, so if you want to make life shoes, uh, if I have a cube and uh, an area light. So when the light is large, you can see it is very diffused. Now, because uh, I'm, I'm in viewport shading, you need a lot of samples to see the diffusion. But if you want it to be sharp, you just scale it down. And you can see the more I scale it down, the sharper the shadows look. You see? You can see how crisp the shadow is. And uh, you can also scale it up using this size here, but I uh, find it much. I don't know if it, if it has an impact to scaling, scaling it up here. Yeah. So basically, you just make the light larger or bigger. Or you have the light intersecting, and thus the light looks. Oh, yeah, you mean to make it like a fluorescent? It's not really intersecting, it's very, very close to the wall. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's intersecting or not. I wouldn't recommend it to intersect, to have it intersect because it will also bleed into the other room. So you just bring it very close to the to the wall, and uh, it should give you the same effect. Or make it thinner and closer to the wall. It will give you that fluorescent effect. Okay, let's see what other light we have. This, I'm not really sure. Should have the same tone. And it shouldn't be too big. Please do daily streaming, sir, as you did earlier. Yeah, I could do that, but I have a lot of other stuff I need to take care of. Uh, maybe after I'm done with that, I could do again the uh, daily streams. This text can be... be blue and maybe rotated like that I guess then the text has to be each text has to be rotated does it matter maybe each of these words has to be rotated uh, for it to read correctly, I think. I can just let's try. You can just give it this. Mm. 
if it are blue the subscribe also needs some bit of light hey iron man how are you how did you write that it's a nice way try to name think okay let's look at we need this fridge light doesn't have to be that bright okay we need maybe we need another light here Okay, something like that. Hey, Xbo, how are you? Let me first uh, optimize my scene by uh, removing all the 4k images converting them to 2k so that uh, the scene is much lighter because i want to add some stuff and uh, uh, because the scene is too heavy it's not really letting me do that it's going to take a minute so let me run and add white first here i think color management management yeah i think color manage it should be contrast for better results you think so okay let me first optimize this because i which anime this coffee shop belongs to I, I don't think it belongs to any anime i think it's just some creator doing something uh, it's just art an art piece I don't think it uh, was meant for any anime movie. Okay, these are uh, this is still optimizing. Maybe some jig some jiggle lights on the top handrail. Jiggle lights. Um, do I even know what jiggle lights are? Do you mean like uh, this here? Because I think that that would be interesting. We can add that. Okay. Yeah. Now everything is much smoother because I've optimized. The lights which is great okay so let me grab this yeah did you mean uh, these because I'm liking them too so you just add that
I guess then if we have that then we can perhaps move these headlights out of the way. I just Get rid of this. Are the small light chains? Yeah, I think they really look look nice here. Let me see. I do mean there somewhere like there. I think they also fit. Can do that. Let's add some banners. Maybe another fridge. I think some like some Chinese lamp would be a good addition. Red one, I think I have that. Hmm. Is it lantern? Yeah. Now we just need to add a point light in here. I think I like that. Get some wire. How do you know how much to scale the fridge compared to the door so that is is true to size? Well, I don't really care for the true, like uh, true, really real scale of things. I just eyeball things, and uh, and I think this is really a good scale for a fridge. I just eyeball things, and uh, since this is going to be it's not going to really be done for it's not basically the final render is the final product it doesn't really matter if everything is at true scale uh, it's a personal project so i'm okay with things not being super perfect if you're working for a client maybe that uh, would be an issue but since i'm just doing this for me, uh, it doesn't really matter. 
just have some wires Yes, have something like that. Looks great. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what. have an area light Play with the uh, the color management. Try con contrast. Uh, let's try medium. I think there there was already good contrast. Let's go with medium contrast. I think. Let me see. Very low contrast. You see high, how high contrast looks? It's uh, too much contrast, I think. Maybe because I did change that. Uh, mm. What does the gamma do? It just makes it more. I don't know. Brighter? I don't know. Can it apply to all the scenes? To all types of scenes? What? What would the... Apply to I hmm. C 
seeing this red light. Okay. Too blunt with only door light reflection. Oh, what is blunt? What is blunt? This looks amazing. We'll go back and watch the live stream. Thank you, Rolling Eight Records. How are you? Glad to see you back. I think. See me around. I think. And uh, we should be able to unmade this. The camera moving in. Let me see, can we instance the entire collection? I wouldn't recommend this if your PC can't handle it. Yeah, I think we can. So I'm going to just instance the entire collection. Move it in the opposite direction and mirror it just to make it look a bit different. So if I pan the camera now, we should be able to see uh, that this street is continuous. So this is not the only shop around. So. You're my inspiration. Thank you, thank you. Let's leave it and no, it's animated. Maybe just going to grab this, rotate it. I really love collection instances, just makes detailing stuff much easier so i'm just going to add that there and uh, just like that we have extra detail in the background you are my evening sir thank you thank you iron man yeah if you're just here and uh, you haven't liked uh, i'd be amazing if you left a like Difference between an instance and a copy? Well, an instance is just you are using already existing data, but uh, when you're copying, you are creating new, you're basically creating new data, which makes the scene heavier. Grab some wires. Uh, 
I should run. So maybe the car moves forward and stops in a red light. Stop. Spot, stop. Ah, you mean if we unmet this? Let's see if I replace. Yeah, I think uh, that's going to be it for today, and uh, maybe Make sure that these lights are all off. How? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to see how that. Thanks for reminding me how. Let me just add uh, this light here and see how this would render in cycles then. Reduce the leaf size. Can you put the render results of your video? I, I think I'm just going to render this as an image and it will be on my A Blender Everything page and uh, on discord let's see how this looks in cycles and uh, call it a day better than reference thank you jithin and uh, welcome back how have you been okay oh it doesn't really look that good in cycles
Uh, it, I think it doesn't look good in cycles because uh, we are using some hacky tools for the wall, especially. So, for example, here, uh, when we set up the tune shader, I think I need to disable the. I'll have to disable this. Okay, it doesn't look bad as well if you disable the modifiers. The solidify modifier, which is supposed to do the. Let's just leave it in. In cycles in EV. There may be. Yeah, you know what? I'll just give this a slight camera movement. Okay, uh, that's 